Good evening, everyone. This evening has been interesting because I've been looking after my sister. But now I will get into doing my favorites videos so that is finished and taken care of because I just want to, I need to get everything put away. I need to relax, be able to watch and listen for my sister and stuff. So let's get through this. So, one of my favorites is, let's... I gotta do that over again. This is very unorganized. So. These are, are the same and not the same at the same time as my actual favorites. The, the, the <laughs> I actually do love this brand. The... Herbal Essence is Naked, um, Zero Paraben Silicone color it. Um, this is actually the moisture one. The one that I was going to show you was the volumizing, but this is basically, I'm going to say basically the same thing, because this is, a, they're both a, have like mint extract in it, so it yeah like this felt so good on my hair and because it's like naked it's just almost like something pure and clean cleansing going through my hair and I don't <laughs> I really am not sure what else to say but like this just felt incredibly amazing like even this this just felt really good on my skull it I don't know exactly what it did, but it just made me feel so nice on my hair, and it smells really nice too. Well, I don't know how this smells. Maybe sh I should smell it right now. I'll try the conditioner. Whoops! <laughs> I got some on my nose. All right. It still smells nice, and I believe it will do very nice things to my hair, like the um, the volumizing did before. But I don't need volumizing, so I wanted to try this as well, the moisturizing part, because like especially right now, I need more moisturizing than volumizing during the winter. This is very nice. And I do recommend you try this too, especially if you have like, if you tend to get build up in your hair, this is a really clean, clean and nice on your hair. I don't feel build up on this. And I don't get the weird stiffness here during the shower when I use the shampoo. Especially because this is a gel shampoo and not a cream. So. These are very nice. This is... That was on my face. This is my first flat iron. It is the Con Air flat iron. And... Uh, so, I haven't used this all that often. I only recently used it, and I kind of used it properly. And it just made my hair feel really good and look really good. Um, I don't know how to use it to curl my hair, because when I used to live on my own, well, not exactly on my own, but like in my own apartment with a friend of mine, we went to this... Um, woman's shelter where they did like free haircuts for um, anyone associated to someone who had been in that in the woman's shelter system so I was allowed to go because my friend had been through it and I was getting my hair done and I was I asked her if she could curl my hair and she used a flat iron and I watched someone on here um Dollface Ray I think that's her name. I'll 
put in the de description below or somewhere on my screen about uh, with a link to her YouTube channel. And she used a flat iron to curl her hair. So, it, like, why am I not able to do that? I don't know why. This is a, it's a, a good um, brand of flat iron. Con Air is a very good brand, especially for can in Canada. So I had a blow dry a Con Air blow dryer before. I have another Con Air blow dryer. So, but anyway, this is really nice, and this has a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Um, well, right now it's on set 6, and I should not have it at 6 because for my type of hair. Like, it tells you what type of, what number, like, well, range to put it on for your hair type. And I should be, like, even be with the lower numbers, but I don't feel like it does anything when it's on the lower numbers for myself. So I have it on 6. But it goes, how high does it go? It goes to 20. So I don't have it that high, but I think I have it closer, maybe starting to go into like the medium range. I don't really have much to say other than I really, when I did use this, I haven't used it in a while, but when I did use this, it felt so nice on my hair. Like it just did lovely stuff to my hair. It just so very nice. I'm using this even though I used it in, even though I just showed you guys this in my haul video, which is before this. It is the Beautiful Day Nourishing Hand Cream. And I'm using this because, holy crap, I love this scent so much. And I haven't even used it yet. Like, this is to be my spring scent for the months of March, April, and May. It's like, oh my god, it's so freaking amazing! Like this, I'm just gonna be having it over here, use for my hand, and I have a bigger one to use on my body, and I have the perfume, and I'm stocked up on the moisturizer because, like, the last time I bought it, excuse me, I ran out before the winter season ended. So now I'm excuse me, stocked up on it, but this scent is so amazing. It, like, it's, um, it's like, it, like, you can definitely smell the green apple. And it says there's supposed to be a peony posy. Uh, I'm going to go get one of my other products. So this is the moisturizer. Nice big bottle of 226 grams. And it says, sun-kissed apple, wild daisy, and fresh pink peony. It's so freaking beautiful. Oh, it's such a nice, sweet, light scent. like Almost like perfect for spring, because you want something like that. You want, like, light scent. Oh, I'm not showing the perfume, but... It's, I have it, I have it, it's ready to be used on Sunday. It's like, oh my god, so freaking beautiful. If you haven't gone to your Bath and Body Works and smelled this, go do it! And it's freaking, oh. Like, it's not, oh my god, smell of the, um, the black cherry Merlot, but it's, oh my god. God, I can't believe they bottled this up. It's so nice. So very, very nice. This is my spring scent. Well, it's... For me, it's my spring scent. But for any of you who actually have it, maybe you use it all year round. Maybe you only use it during the day. Maybe you use it for your spring scent or maybe your summer scent. I don't know, but for me, this is my spring scent. I don't know if it'll change, but this, for now, this is my spring scent. Holy frick. It just smells amazing. Oh, so amazing.
my last thing are candle scents. And I don't exactly have the candles anymore. I just have wrappers. And I have four to show you because I just... It was just so beautiful. So this first one that I showed you, it's called Cherries on the Snow. And this was really nice. Like, I could smell the cherries. I smelled, like, fresh... The, the white... This is a red candle, but I smelled, like... I think mostly I smelled the cherries because I usually can pick up the cherry scents really well. And I love cherry scents. But this was like a really nice crisp fruity scent. It's just really nice. I can't really say much because it's been a while since I smelled it. But it's really nice. It's it's a fresh fruity scent. Like the snow and the cherries is just like it's very perky. Um, this next one is Holiday Garland. And this is actually one of the first ones I had going through January. And I really like the scent of like this balsam. It's not a strong balsam because like you can tell from here, like it's got the greenery in it. Oh, like it smells nice. It's, it's light probably because of like the cranberry in it. And maybe the popcorn? I don't know, but definitely I think the balsam and cranberry are mixing together to make this, like, light balsam scent. And it's really, really nice. And all these scents you can only get during the Christmas time, so. Yes. Um, this next one is called Sparkling Snow. And I love the, these white scents. I think I showed you um, White Christmas with like the white snow and the white church on it. These white candles are freaking amazing. They smell crisp. They smell white. They just smell really good. I don't have much else to say about this because it's just like, I love the Christmas, Christmas, crisp, crispness of this. Yes. <laughs> Then my last one is called Merry Marshmallow. It's you, I would I'm not a huge marshmallow fan or like this kind of scent person. Like I like marshmallows occasionally. And with this I almost figured it would be like a really kind of strong sweetness, but no, this is a light sweetness. It's like, again, it's like snow and marshmallow. Like the snow smell of it, it's like bringing it down. It's just, I don't know. It just makes me smell, makes it smell good. It makes me feel cozy and like almost gooey as well. That's all for January. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't get this up at the beginning of February. I don't know why, but I'm getting it done now. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I promised that these would be the in the best order or like, I haven't even promised that my uploading status would be the greatest either. But I'm trying, like, I want to do these videos. They help. They may not be completely helping me, but they are kind of helping me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, so now we're going to move on to February because I just kind of want to wrap it up because I don't really have anything for... yeah. <laughs> so yes, I only have two things for my February favorites. One of them is a book. And I showed you this book. I did a review on it. It's TikTok of Oz. And for real, this, like, out of all the books that I read this month of February, I believe I read three, this was one of my favorite books. And if you go to my book review, I kind of rave a little about this. I love the feel of it. I love the adventure of it. It's, like, one of his best adventures. Like, um, 
like the land of oz was one of my favorite ones uh ozma of oz when they first go to um the land of ev and they they have to go rescue the the royal the ro the royal family from the gnome king and you meet the gnome king again in this book and uh the road to oz those four books were three or four three or four books are completely amazing and this is up on the same par as those books and again you we get to meet um we get to be we meet, we get to <laughs> we get to read about the shaggy man the gnome king uh polychrome tiktok hence the name tiktok of oz but then there's new people and they're really great too and like they add to this story so well that i love i really love this and it just and like the map it has a map at the beginning of this book but it's kind of a little flipped well at least oz is a little flipped because if you can see yeah the um the winky country is on the east side instead of on the west side that's just really weird Uh, yeah, yeah. And like with the previous books when we've um when I've read them, the outside map, like around the deadly de around the desert, it's actually in its right place. At least I think so in my brain. But then I see other maps on like from Google and it's it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it should be like the outside fairyland doesn't look like it should be that flipped uh, yeah it probably it might just be me but I'm hoping it's other people because like and then like this little country here in the uh, in other maps it's not called um this place is not called myth kits it's I don't even think it has a name there. And then Mithkith, Mithkits is like an island somewhere on the outside. So I'm just, even though this is a really great book, the map, this map and like other maps I found on Google, it's just, they're not, it's not in my brain. And it doesn't even look right because like some, because like this map, this map is backwards. Like, at least the Oz map. That The Oz map is wrong. Winky Country is supposed to be on the west side. Like, seriously. The Wicked Witch of the West was ruler of the Winkies. So why would it be on the east side? I got a, um... An, like, an update email call from... Christine Feehan, who does the dark series, like her Carpathian vampire series. And she has informed us about two new books. And they're, what, they're both called Dark Ghosts, and the next one after that is called Dark Promise. And they're tied together. The first one is about um, this girl, and the uh, next one is about her aunt. So it's a niece and an aunt. And the aunt basically, the second one, basically her aunt is going after her, her niece, and her niece is looking for something to help, um, to help her aunt because something's going on with her aunt, and she has to go to the Carpathian Mountains. And... All of this stuff is ensuing in both books and stuff like that. I only read a small blip of both. And they are freaking amazing. I cannot freaking wait till they come out. And Okay, so this is my little list of all the books that I plan on buying. 
okay, so before Dark Ghost, there's another book coming out in July called Dark Crime. So, the, um, she's written down here that Dark Ghost is coming out on September 1st. So, oh my god! Oh my god, it's Dark Ghost is coming out this year. But, and then next year is Dark Promise. And it's like, oh my god! Oh my god, good stuff is coming out. Like, if you have not read Christine Feehead, go read it. Go read her Dark series. I was first introduced to her Dark series by an audiobook. And it was called, um, it was either Dark Curse or Dark Destiny. And Dark Destiny came before Dark Curse. I'm not sure which one I listened to first, but it was one of those two. And that's how I got introduced to and it's just like, oh my God. holy fuck, she is an amazing writer and has inspired me to write my own series, but it is about werewolves. And I've already started on the first book and like, I haven't been working on it since, but because I've been busy trying to get other stuff out of the way. I just love her so much and I have like, almost like all of her books. Like seriously, um, uh, or give me this. There's only so many books I'm actually missing from her series. Um, I'm actually going to be buying soon, probably next month, is her, she wrote an, an earlier, earlier book called Dark Hunger, but I already have that. I want to get the comic book version of it. Yes, she had had her book done in the comic. So, I am very excited about that. And then I have... One, two... Okay, there's... One book I haven't bought yet, and I'm still waiting to get that, and it's called Dark Blood, and it's part of a, um, a trilogy, like a... Uh, I think kind of like, I don't know. I can't remember what um, this is so, spe so special about this trilogy. I know I watched, I know there's something special about this trilogy. But that one I still need to get because it came out last year in September the 2nd. Um, and then Dark Crime, as I said, doesn't come out till July 28th. And then Dark Ghost doesn't come out till September 1st. And Dark Promises, she hasn't really written a date yet for that, but I'm guessing it'll be, like, sometime next year. This is, like, book 20... 28? I think she's coming up to, like, 30 books in her Dark series. Like, this is the first year, first book series that she ever wrote. But she also does, um, Ghost Walker, um... She does a bunch of other series... And I have one of them. It's it's about like this Seven Sisters series, and it's the Christmas book in it, in that series. So I haven't read anything of her other series, so I can't really say anything about them. But I can talk about her Dark Carpathian Vampire series. Holy fuck! Oh, I love it so much. Go read it. Go read it now. Go read it. It's a um, it's adult romance, so there are a Explicit, explicit, explicit content in it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the other only thing that I liked for February is popcorn. I've been obsessed with flavor popcorn for the month of October, month of February, and like I love these Cheetos, Ch Chester Cheetos popcorn, and like I love the cheese flavoring. And there's this other brand called Smart Food, and it's a popcorn brand. I really really like the white cheddar popcorn on because like the coating on it is so nice. I recently tried the movie butter popcorn, but. I think I have to keep that for Orville Redenbacher or like actually going to the cinema and having that butter popcorn. 
because the smart mate the smart food popcorn just didn't do it for me and there there's um I think there I believe there's one or two other flavors for the smart food um, I don't think I'll be able to show you but if you I think if you Google it, at least Google the picture, you'll be you should be able to find out what the flavors are. So, yes. Yeah, so, I am gonna start eating this tonight because I am hungry and I want to get going. Okay, so I lied about having no more January favorites. I have a few more January favorites, but I can't show them physically to you like I can do this. They're all basically found on the computer. So what we're gonna do is this. Holy fuck. Um, I didn't listen to this until recently, like through January basically. I freaking love Uptown Funk by Mark Rawson featuring Bruno Mars. Holy Holy effing shit. That it's it's my thing. Okay. It's my thing. <laughs> I always do that. Like I've seen the music video a bunch of times. And when I hear it, I have to do like when that when that song when the tune comes up for when you do this when he does this, I just can't help but do it. it oh my god. And whenever Manny hears it, it's like yeah, that's us. No, 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 wait. That's my girlfriend. That is my girlfriend. <laughs> so it's just. I can't freaking help it. Oh my god. Like, holy fuck. I love that music music so much. I love that song. I love the music video. It's just freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have the link below to the music video that I found on you that is on YouTube. I'm just. Go watch it. Go listen to it. Go get obsessed with it. Alright, so the next thing um, is my boyfriend, uh, through January, he wanted to get, he was saying like, I want to get a new dog. My my dog, my current dog is, she, she's like five, six years old. And so he feels like he wants to get some another one for to you know keep her company. And so I was I told him like you have to get something with longer legs, cause um his dog her name is Kayla and she's a dash hound like a purebred dash dash hound basically. So he said he wanted another dash hound and I'm basically like saying like you have I want I have to I have to have a poodle mix. So, like, if we're, I'm going to find what a poodle dash hound mix is. And I eventually found it. It's called a doxy poo. Oh my god, oh my god. Aren't they adorable? They are freaking adorable. I want one. I want to name it Nugget! I've been obsessed with that name Nugget too. Ever ever since watching um, Ingrid Nielsen. I want to name one of my pets Nugget. And I don't care if it's a female, I'm gonna name that female Nugget. <laughs> So I, I've, I had been searching and searching so much and I found like two things that they were selling doxy poos. Like I'm trying to find it in Canada, but no one in Canada is make, breeding doxy poos. So these two places were in the States. 
but they never answered me back. So eventually I found an actual website where this woman has basically dedicated her life to breeding um, uh, three different breeds of half poodle, half poodles, and one of them is a doxy poo. They're freaking cute. And like I found on uh, Google through Google from pictures, like doxy poos can have long legs, or they could have like short legs. Like they can lean more to the dash on side, or they can lean more to the uh, poodle side. I want like a 50/50 or like a um, like a two-thirds poodle doxy poo, basically, because I want those damn long legs. Because I got, like, even before Kayla, um, uh, had hurt her back, like, had a pinched nerve, I'd always been nervous about picking her up, because I love, I tend to pick up dogs, like, from under their front legs. And, like, once I do that, I automatically will pick them up under their butt. But I feel nervous about doing that with Kayla, even before, like, the pinched nerve thing happened to her. And, uh, and she does do them. Sadly, right now, she's focusing on her, her shepherd poodles. So, she said, um, she still has to find her female, I think it's, like, a female poodle? Or it's a female dash hound, I can't remember. But she needs to find one. Because I think it's one of the two. One of them is still technically too young to start breeding or something like that. So she said she would email me when she started breeding the doxy poos again. Or basically I said I would message her back when she had to start. When she, on her website, she states like, I'm breeding doxy poos again. Because apparently so many people are emailing her and asking her about how, if they could have a doxy poo. Yes, so doxy poos are my new thing. <laughs> That's just so weird. And my last thing is a picture thing, pic bunch of pictures that I have become obsessed with. I don't know if everyone knows about him, but he is called Danbo. Yes. Danbo? Danbo? Yes, he is called Danbo. And he is a box character, and, and on the side of it it says Amazon.ca, so, or .com, but it's, it has Amazon on the side of his box, so. He's so freaking cute. Here, let me go find my phone. Cause I'm gonna find dude picture on here of Mr. Dambo. What are you doing? Don't want that. Now these next three are like Valentine pictures, but no, no. Okay, well, hold on. Why don't I do this? Bring down the brightness of my phone. There we go. That better. I, my screen was too bright. See, look at little Dambo. And then, let's go. See, he's holding a heart in there. And then, this one, he's got all the candy hearts. He's so freaking cute. I'm going to show you more. Oh, he had another one. This is for Easter. Like, if you recognize those, like, tiny little chick, like, birdies, like, holy freak. There's some more, there's more. Oh, he had a bunch more. These, uh, first few are Halloween ones, so he's a, um, a mummy. Look at those glowing eyes. I don't know how someone made his eyes glow, but that's freaking awesome. His lonely little... <laughs> I found most of these on Google. Like, look at that one. That's so cute. This is one of my favorites. This one I actually found on... Um, through my pet shop game, it, um, it gives you things like it suggests 
certain apps to download onto your phone and you will get gems when you do install them onto your your phone or tablet or wherever you get your apps and it was this um this thing that you can get backgrounds or change your the picture of your icons that are on your page and this picture actually was in the in their background section and I was like that is so freaking cute I want that and so I copy and pasted it into my phone but then I didn't want the app anymore because it kind of wasn't working well for me so I removed it but it took this picture away so I had to find it whoops so I had to find this picture and it was annoying but yeah. I'm so happy to have that picture and that's all of my damn boat but yeah I it took me a while to actually figure find out what his actual name is and when I did I got so many more pictures of him like there's so many and like you can type in like anything with Danbo or I'm guessing Danbo just his name and I'll give you a bunch of pictures of Danbo and like there's like smaller versions of him because I've seen like multiples around him and it's just yeah he's freaking cute good night everyone I hope you like some of the stuff I have favorited I certainly do I certainly like this book. And I certainly love this set. Holy shit. And I can't wait to start with it. I hope, I hope some of you will eventually read this. Because I do not want to spoil the whole entire adventure. But TikTok falls into a well. <laughs> oh, that was silly. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight. Good night, everyone. Yeah. But I freaking love. <laughs>